Can y'all say Afro Central? <laughs> What's up, Central family? This is RT, and I'm chilling here with the lovely and talented Georgia and Muldrow. All right, say hello to the Century family. Hey, Century family. Okay. All right now. Uh, so, Georgia, could you tell me the name of your current project right now? The name of my current project is King's Ballad, but I have many, many current this projects is true. afoot. Okay, this is true. So, how about, why don't you tell us the, the retrospective, like the, the three most recent, the ones that you're performing from especially. Roses. Okay, Roses is on Umcindo. Mm -hmm. Umcindo is on... Uh, is on our independent label. Okay. Holy Smokes is uh, a record I produced fully for uh, Declaim. There's another record out called Early mm -hmm. that I did a while back ago when I was like a still a teenager. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, you know, that's a good album. So those are the those are the you know ones that's out right now. Mm -hmm. That uh, there's a Miss One compilation. I mean, there's a lot of records. You know, I just finished a free jazz record called Okotea. Right. To me, it's like what I say all the time is that the key. I mean, we think in genre or whatever because we think in a Eurocentric perspective most of the time, and it's one of separation. Yeah, but really, actually, you know, for me, I just, I'm working on my receptive energy for the ancestors to sing through me. So you're going to hear a lot of different things because I'm giving them permission, and they're giving me permission to sing. You right. see? And so I give them permission to use me to sing. Amen. How does spirituality play in your creative process? Well, if I didn't have, I mean, if I didn't have music, I would probably would have really would have took myself up off this planet, just truthfully speaking. Mm. If I didn't have the guidance of my ancestor, if I didn't have, if, you know, my, my guiding ancestors, if I hadn't had the privilege of being able to witness them in physically, if I didn't have the privilege of being united with, like, one of the greatest teachers I've ever had, mm -hmm. you know, in Dudley, um, all these things co coexist, you know, and, uh, you know, I mean, w the positive messages come through because it's what I need to hear. Amen. You know what I mean? It, and, like, you know, it's just like how the blues, the blues, they, people sing the blues because they need to sing it for themselves, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Tell me about your production and, and some of the other artists that you've worked with. I mean, it's just, it's been like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, like, I've worked with like Eagle Nebula. I've worked with uh, Elemental. I've worked with obviously Dudley Perkins on countless occasions. I feel really, I feel honored to be a producer mm -hmm. because what it does is, is that you can honor someone in your music. Like, you can honor, like, you could think of them and surround them. It's like you can make a, frame mm -hmm. for someone's spirit mm -hmm. or you can make like a frame and I think that's really special especially if you're paying attention to who you're framing instead of like I think right now it's like they're trying to squeeze people into a frame like trying to fabricate people like a mold like squeeze into a mold but true production is when you take the person as they are and love every bit of them and then just create something around it you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's the art of production. I think that's a, that's what makes people who I love, like Quincy Jones, John mm -hmm. Barnes, you know what I'm saying? People who are, like, masterful producers, you know what I mean? Not, I'm not talking about just, like, successful, but I'm saying, like, masterful producers, you know what I'm saying? Like, Coltrane is a master. Right. I mean, you know, like, I remember in the 90s, mm -hmm. there was this, like, grunge era, this rock grunge era. Mm -hmm. And I seen that all them white people could do whatever they want, what they wanted to do. I remember that. They could just be like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real talk. My friend. <laughs> your friend. Yeah. And, you know, and just and it was just the, the deepest stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. And then, like, all, all the while we got people in shiny suits going. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? We in shiny suits still having to entertain. Well, you know what I'm saying? And and I remember, like, early on, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. I ain't going to be tripping over all that. I'm going to do what I want to do, come what may. And what I want to do is be true to the art that wants to express through me because it doesn't belong to me. I belong to it. You know what I'm saying? As a legacy for your music, what would you like, 100 years from now, what would you like people to say 
about you, Georgia Ann Boudreaux? You know what? My greater le- the greater legacy I hope to leave is what people will say about themselves. And what I really hope for as a legacy that I am partaking in is what people will say about themselves and think about themselves and do for themselves. Like, you know, I, I just hope to participate in that because it ain't about me. You know, this, I, I like, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm like a medic on the field. That's all I'm trying to do. I mean, like, there's a calling for everybody. You know, some people are just straight up on the front line warriors, you know, bloodshed. But for me, I'm like... You know, there, there's a war being waged upon us, and I'm just trying to collect it with sound. That's what me and Dudley are trying to do. Like, you know, just as sonic medics, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're trying to do. This is Georgia Ann Muldrow, medic on the field. We'd like to say thank you, sister, for sharing with us here at Centric. It's no problem, brother. And and God bless you on your way. You too. And I, I look forward to hearing many more things. The Centric family looks forward to hearing many more things from you. Oh, man. Hey, now. All right. Centric. All right. <laughs> Y'all played Malcolm X the other day. It was pretty good. <laughs>